Danger tonight really is flash flooding. We have to watch out. Remember, turn around, don't drown. Anytime you're headed into some deep water or you see it approaching, just simply do not drive into that deep water. It can take about six inches of water for your car to get washed off the roadway. I'm going to keep talking until they take a map because I'm not sure what they're waiting. <laughs> there you go. There's, there's the weather. Take it, guys. Look how much rain we've had. Wow. Almost three and a half inches at Muskogee. Tahlequah, almost two inches of rainfall. This is the area overnight tonight when more rain moves into this area. You're going to see instant flash flooding. It's already flash flooding there right now. But whatever has receded will simply go right back to where it was beforehand. So that's one area that we're going to watch in the overnight hours. And the rainfall estimates. I showed you three and a half at Muskogee, but look near Stillwell. Our radar is estimating almost five inches of rainfall in parts of Adair County into parts of Cherokee County back towards Dakota and Henrietta. And as we widen things out, we thought this would happen. We go into a little bit of a break here this evening, but now more rain is moving back in. The upper low itself is near Chickasha and it's going to head right over Tulsa tonight and then up into southwest Missouri tomorrow. And as it moves up to the northeast, it brings all of this rain with it. And then the rain develops around that low. Remember, the low is a regional destination for the winds and for the moisture. So it gathers there. It moves up Interstate 44. And so by 4 o'clock in the morning, We've got widespread rain and heavy rain, and it rains like that till about 9 or 10 o'clock, then it shifts to the east. Notice at noon, we've dried out just a little bit. The front has stalled and now starts to lift back to the north as a warm front. So tomorrow evening, maybe a few more showers, maybe even a thunderstorm along that warm front. And then Thursday, the focus of the rain shifts up close to the Kansas border. So if we're going to see rain on Thursday, most likely it'll be up to the north. We may see a few passing showers coming through. How much more rain will we see? Well, we could be talking about an additional one to two inches of rainfall between now overnight tonight and of course, by the time everything wraps up on Thursday, then we're headed for a heat wave. And if you want to read uh, more about why the heat wave that's coming up is such an unusual heat wave, go to KJRH.com. I did a blog on that. Separate graphics, nothing that I'm showing here tonight. We have specific graphics for that heat wave at KJRH.com. 67 right now, northeast winds at 6 miles an hour, the dew point at 65. The temperatures fairly steady overnight, actually rise up to 70 by 6 a.m. as some of that rain moves in. We'll see overnight lows tonight in Bartlesville around 62, Grove around 66, 68 in Sepulpa, 65 at Tahlequah with rain and thunder expected there and rain likely in Holdenville and you follow with lows in the upper 60s. And then tomorrow morning, a rainy rush hour and some flash flooding will be likely 68 degrees at 8 a.m. 74 at noon will dry out, but things will be muddy, especially in some of those fields. Scattered showers tomorrow afternoon are high temperature around 79 degrees. 77 in Venita tomorrow and 78 at Sky Took. We'll look for a high temperature Wagner of 77, Okmulgee and Muskogee at 77 degrees with showers and a few thunderstorms off and on. And Poto making it up to 83, Stigler up to 78, McAllister around 80 degrees. Here's our seven day forecast. We look ahead to Thursday, 89 with a 40% chance of rain, but it does look like the rain moves out in time for the Roughnecks match. We'll kick off with a temperature at 86 and the final will have a temperature right around 77 degrees. Then Friday 94 and Saturday we're looking at temperatures around 95 and then Sunday up to 98 degrees. It is going to be hot on Sunday. If you're doing any yard work, try to do it early. Might be some light dew on the grass then, but look at that feels like temperature by Sunday afternoon. It could feel like it's about 105 degrees outside, so it's wow. going to get real hot uh, this weekend and to start next week. It makes tonight feel chilly almost. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? And we'll enjoy it in the meantime. All right, thanks. From Weather to Sports.